Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate setting reminders on your tasks. So for your end users, when they use Salesforce, there's this checkbox that they can check to set their own reminder. So they check the box, do I want a reminder or not? And then they pick the date and the time that they want the reminder. And when they do that, they hit save, the task is created. And if you see, there's a little, little alarm clock there because there's also going to be a reminder associated with this task. And it really is just a field. Now, how do we set this up in your automation rules? Well, it's actually very, very uh, similar to what your users do. In this case, I'm gonna create a flow and there are many different types of flows, but we're gonna have this flow fire when a task is created. So I'm gonna use this record triggered flow, okay? So when a task is created, and your automation rule could be something else, but in my case, when I create a task, I'm automatically going to set a reminder. Now you might wanna have criteria for when your automation rule fires. In my case, I'll say as long as the task is not completed, we want to set a reminder. If you create a completed task, uh, no point in having a reminder. All right, so we've got the criteria and I'm gonna hit save. So the flow starts, it ends, and nothing really happens. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create this update records action. So we give this action a name. So in this case, I'm gonna set the reminder. You can give it a description if you'd like to be more descriptive. Now, which record are you going to update? Well, I'm gonna update the task <laughs> that fired off this automation rule. Now I'm really gonna do what you saw the end user do. I'm just having the automation rule do it. First thing I'm doing is checking that box. Is an automation, uh, is a reminder set or not? And I'm setting the value to true. Right? And then what was the other thing we do? Well, then we set the date time of the reminder. So this is a date time field that we want. Now, if you have a field or a formula that you're already using that'll work, great. Uh, if you don't have one, you're gonna see me create one here. So I'm creating a new formula. And this formula is a date time value, right? So when do I want the reminder? In this case, I'm gonna go to the task record itself. I'm gonna get its due date. All right, so I want the reminder to be before the due date. So that's the activity date. So I'm gonna have some offset. So maybe you wanna be a day before, a couple days before, a month before. You figure out your own formulas. If you wanna be more advanced to uh, take note of weekends or holidays, you can do that. But that formula alone wouldn't work. That would give us back a date value. And I need this to be a date time value. So I put that little date time in parentheses around it that converts it to a date time field. And that's all this automation rule does. All this automation rule does is when a new task is created and it's not completed, I update the task by checking the reminder checkbox and picking setting the reminder date. So here you're going to see me uh, use this automation rule now. That rule was saved. That rule was activated. So I've created a task. I'm gonna pick a date way out in the future for me at the time of this recording. I'm definitely not setting a reminder. And I hit save. So if you notice now, a reminder was set. And if we look at the task itself, it was set to a few days earlier. This is a really nifty trick that can help you out, especially if you're automatically creating tasks uh, for other reasons and you'd like to set reminders. Really nice, really simple. It's really about that formula field to make sure the reminder comes at the appropriate time. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're gonna try it out. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.